How's it going guys, Cracked Rack here, and uh, well, another day, another Chris Chan video. Now today we're gonna be talking about Chris's financial situation and how awful it is. My sources being years of reading about Chris and studying him as well as citing things off of the Chris Chan wiki and a few other sites that are of a similar nature. Now, as always, before you watch this video, you need to have some sort of prior knowledge on Chris or else this will all just sound like gibberish to you. I should mention as well that while Chris is currently in prison, he's going to continue doing literally everything I say in this video for the rest of his life. That is, if he gets out and returns to normal. Also, I haven't been uploading nearly as much lately because I've been trying to get a job as a news anchor because I'm a grifting piece of garbage and now it's time to become a professional grifting piece of garbage. But even though I haven't been making videos the last week, I've been studying the balls out of Chris's financial situation. It's one of the more angering parts of Chris's life as Chris's irresponsibility and lack of gratefulness and humility has sunken him into a financial hole. Now before I explain just how bad his financial situation is, let's take a look at some of his regular spending habits. Keep in mind, Chris gets social security payments every month, which is funded by taxpayers like you. Chris is an absurd consumer of products. He is extremely loyal to brands, no matter how expensive the products are. For example, he is an extreme spender when it comes to video games and video game DLC. It was found that Chris doesn't even play half of the shit he buys, and he has thousands of games. Within a four year period, Chris will usually spend over six grand on video games alone. He also purchases all the DLC for literally every video game he owns on a regular basis and has sunk in hundreds of thousands of dollars into games like Little Big Planet. In fact, Chris has spent over a thousand dollars on the mobile game The Simpsons Tapped Out, which is a crappy outdated mobile game that nobody should even spend five dollars on, let alone a thousand. And if this was his own money he earned from a job or something, I wouldn't judge him, but this is all money he should be using towards things like basic home repairs, nutritious food, animal food because he has animals he doesn't take care of. Chris also buys really expensive toys that are super popular and on brand, things like My Little Pony action figures, which can cost hundreds of dollars per set. Chris also invests regularly hundreds of dollars a year on useless shit like the lottery. He also visits pawn shops very regularly to sell his old toys so he can buy new ones, which is pathetic because the money he could have made from all that useless shit just went to more useless shit. Chris's food purchases are not much better either, I've mentioned in another video Chris goes to McDonald's usually like twice a day and racks up hundreds of dollars worth of fast food charges monthly. On top of this, he also eats nothing but Hungry Man microwavable dinners which can add up money-wise very quickly. Chris also begs for money regularly, which everyone knows about Chris by now, but I wanted to highlight it because holy shit, it is pathetic. Chris will literally exploit Barb by forcing her to say on camera how desperate they both are for things like food only for people to donate and for Chris to spend all the money he gets on toys and video games. I should also mention Chris is over $10,000 in debt and his mother Barbara is over $20,000 in debt. Chris has been sued a few times now as well and has had to give up thousands upon thousands of dollars because he spent money he didn't have on stupid action figures. The Chandler household, which consists only of Barb and Chris now, also has a $100,000 second mortgage on their home they haven't paid off and likely never will now. So overall, between Chris's extreme spending and his extreme debt, his financial situation is the worst possible financial situation you could be in. Chris's credit score is probably like in the low 300s at best. So yeah, when Chris gets out of prison, he's completely screwed. He's also probably not going to be allowed back into the Chandler household because the state of Virginia might put a protection order out against Chris for Barb's safety due to what happened. Meaning Chris will likely be completely homeless and will have to live in motels and on the streets because you can't live in a motel every day when you make like a thousand bucks a month. Motels are not cheap. Though if Chris is sent to prison for a long time or is institutionalized and Barb gets put into a home, the Chandler household will likely get foreclosed on, meaning all of Chris's shit, the thousands upon thousands of dollars worth of video games and action figures, will be thrown into the garbage by the bank. Even Chris's expensive electronics will have no market value to resell because they've been abused by Chris for years and are covered in stickers and shit. So overall, if Chris gets out of prison, he is absolutely screwed in every single way. All of his possessions will be destroyed and gone, all of his animals will be rehomed, and all of his property will suddenly not be his. On top of this, Chris will probably be on a sex offender registry for what he did, meaning he will never be able to get a job ever again. No job would ever want to associate with Chris at this point. 
meaning Chris will never be able to fix this financial hole he's in. So essentially, Chris's life at the age of 40 is almost completely over, there's no recovery at this stage, and he'll have no friends when he gets out or family that would ever even want to associate with him. So all around, it's just a really sad situation. But yeah, that's all for today. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button, subscribe, and stay tuned for more content. See ya.